everybody, welcome back. Today on the bench I have a HMV uh, model 45-71 made from 1954 to 59 um, and here's a photo of it, the uh, case is with the uh, owner. Now this radio came out of a deceased estate and uh, while the owner was there he happened to spy on the shelf another chassis it was just sitting there. Now, I'm not sure which one was the chassis and which one was in the case, but um, as you can see, they're, they are identical. And um, that one's got a great grill on it. This grill has had it, although that little badge will come in handy in the future, I'm sure. So um, my brief is, um, let's make one good radio out of both of them. And, yep, we're going to do that. And... Um, that's got a nice dial pointer on it, and this one here, that's pretty ratty, it's all bent and, uh, you know, <laughs> there's some, an automated uh, electrical connector on top of it, and okay, fair enough then, fair enough. But um, let's look at them one at a time and um, see what we're dealing with. I thought we might as well just look at the one with the uh, nice grill on it. And, well, everything seems to be there, five valve, a little seven and probably nine pins in there, whatever. Um, Okay, and look at that speaker. That's been reconned with um, piece to be cardboard. Okay, not too sure about that. Output transformers there, and um, the uh, terminal. Uh, sorry, aerial and the earth, and also for phono. And I have. The uh, dial glass there, and it shows that um, a gramophone setting. Um, again, uh, this is about three band um, shortwave, I think. I think. Anyway, let's have a look underneath um, this one. And zoom back, and I'm just checking this out on the screen. And yeah, looking you know, at it, it's been recapped. Um, my, mostly the electrodes have certainly been changed and a few polys have been put in there as you can see so what have you got 22 UF probably another 22 got another electro there I don't know it's cathode bypass I'm not sure I haven't looked at the schematic but you know um, I've got it and it's uh, just down below if you want to check it out so let's just power this up um, and just see, see if it works. Okay, I got power hooked up and we'll monitor at least that filter cap there. Just see what happens. And I probably need an antenna. So, where's the antenna wire go? That one there. Okay. Oh, that will do. Make sure it doesn't touch the other wire. All right. Me. Let's see what happens. Bit of power. So far, nothing. My dull globes have lit up. That's good. Here we go. No short circuits there. Current limit is nice and quiet. Rectifier is finally kicking in. That works. Then it didn't. Where are we? Can't that which you know. we've got something. Um, ba, ba, ba. I need a knob for it, so just pardon me for a second. I'll turn the thing off and uh, get a knob. Okay, here we go again. So um, yeah, signal and then poop. It's faint. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Four band, four selectors positions on the uh, 
on the band switch. We've got plenty of voltage there, as you can see. Not getting a damn thing. I wonder if that speaker died. I don't know. But anyway, anyway, um, since I've got two chassis, I'll get this one off the bench, put the other one on there, and um, we'll see what that does. Okay, I got the second one up on the bench, and um, which I thought was completely untouched, but you can just see up there a uh, little yellow poly has been put in place, a 047, um, and that looks like the only thing that's been done to this. But uh, in fact, I prefer this case because it's it's pretty much untouched. So let's bring this up slowly, 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 and um, see what we're dealing with. So. Bring it up to 90 volts. Nothing so far. It's about 100 and... Here we go, 140 on my side. Dull globes are lighting up. No smoke. Hopefully those filter caps are still good. Good enough for a short test anyway. Okay, I'm just slowly raising the voltage till I get to about 200. Which should be enough. There's plenty... Oh, sorry, you couldn't see it. There's the DC voltage there. That's plenty. Getting some crackling. Ah. It's that aerial wire. Can you get a station? Here we go! That must be short wave. That must be another short wave. Don't know what that one is. Okay, that'll do. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> too many positions on that selector switch. Um, but anyway, um, this is going to be the one I'm going to be um, fixing because, hey, it works. And like I said, it's all untouched, so it's um, oh, pretty much 99% untouched. Um, it's got the good speaker in it, so all I've got to do is change that uh, plastic grill and um, the rest of the components, and this one's a goer. So I'll change those two main... Hold on. What have we got? 24, probably 24. And... That one there, 8 microfarad. Anyway, I'll check the uh, schematic out. No, funny, I thought that was just a cathode bypass, but uh, no, all right. So we'll change those three caps, and um, we'll give another test. But, uh, you know, pretty much done, I'd say. Okay, those uh, three filter, filter caps are in. And let us check on DC. Yep. If there's any improvement to this. Uh oh, again, bring the power up. Tennis connected. That's all good. And it's come in. Okay. 
Sounds, still sounds ratty. Thank you so much. Gee, it takes a while to bloody <laughs> go quiet. Unreal. Um, I'm going to just now change out all those uh, those wax caps and um, see if we can get some better performance out of this. But um, yeah, yeah. Um, notwithstanding any other problems, looks okay. Well, guys, all done. And um, as you can see, I only had to replace one. Resistor, um, believe it or not, all the others were intolerant, so just, yeah, leave them, leave them. So, I've uh, done a bit of work to it, and as you can see, grab the grill off the other one, and I mounted the uh, dull glass, so looking pretty spiffy. I'll just turn the variac on, and we'll power it up for this final test. Well, I'm waiting for it to uh, warm up. Uh, that's the reconing of the uh, that speaker, and uh, that's pretty solid. And there is absolutely no flex in that whatsoever. So that's ratchet. See you later. It's slowly splitting away from Trump. The as that happens, though, the Republican base's support for Trump becomes more intense, uh, more focused, and, and more intractable. I'm sure it does. Which leads me to another extraordinary issue today. Very, very sad in many ways. The soaring cost of living and its impact on household budgets nice. has been blamed for a sharp downturn in spending at one of the country's biggest department stores. But anyway, she, she's way up too. Jones. It's recorded a double oh, downturn in man. sales. But anyway, nice little radio. Very nice one. So, that's it. For this one, again, another easy fix. Um, and if you're wondering why I don't rescue the other one, um, or the other chassis, well, I'd have to get a case that's undamaged, or the owner would, and, as well as a grill. And no doubt, it'd be coming with a, a chassis anyway. So um, it's worth more in parts than it is um, to, to keep. And, and believe me, you know, if I would keep it, it's just taking up more space and I'm starting to run out of space. But anyway... Thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you all again very soon. Bye.